But it was good enough, it was thrilling enough for the neutral. Circumstance changed three times in the final ten minutes as PSG sought an equaliser to nullify Ajax's goal at home to Roma. It went their way, Grace Gallardo drove them on from midfield. She led by example. Fabrice Abriel has been here for almost three years now. Formerly a PSG youth player back in the day. Still a familiar face in French football. But the margin for error that PSG have now is little to none. They play Lyon next Sunday. Lyon currently eight points ahead of them, although PSG do have a game in hand. Things stay the way they are before then, with PSG potentially winning tonight and Lyon later in the weekend. The gap could be opened up to 11 at the end of next week. PSG's flight is not quite being forced into the shadows, but the Champions League run is certainly a welcome addition to the season. Progressing from a difficult group with Roma, Ajax and Bayern Munich stumbled their way through Group C. Toto supporting the Euro. Samira doing her best to make the most of it. The third down the line. clip on Marine Daffer. Rare start for young Taniba Samura this evening. The cross is quite teasing. De Almeida able to clear. from the youngster, Samura, Katoto with a knockdown. Kamchik says, leave it to me. Louis on field for the run of Duffer. Lorina Fazer. Cleaning up another one who has been brought into the lineup this evening. And is gifted straight to Fleury. And Vansgaard will gather. Those long legs of hers trying to scamper away from Fernandez. It's clumsy from Lea Ligarek.
Gilbert's looking for Katoto. Giorum reads the layoff, and there's space for her to trot into here. Fazer might do well to keep that in play. And there's no need for a hurried clearance as it's clipped up towards Louis. You can't bring it under control. don't like this as Vansgaard advances Gioro is in there it's touched away to Grabowska PSG in the middle of a little anomaly in their fixture list right now this is the second of four away games in a row just with the way the cup competitions have fallen for them but that succeeded four home games in a row and then after this little run they're back at home for three games on the bounce makes a change from the usual week in week outs alternatives over for Fleury they are now chasing back because Elimbi Gilbert sees Vansgaard advancing into Samura's path by Marine Daffer. French International. They were a while ago, a while ago though. Touching a decade for Marine Daffer when she was last involved with the national team. And subsequently decided to change to Algeria. She started well with them. Rules do allow friendly caps to be nullified with a change of hearts, provided they aren't above a certain level. She started well with the Algerians as well, a couple of goals already in her first few caps. Tuesday, the deflection of Georgia Stanway. And the replay is still made his face as an absolute picture of delirium as she turned to sprint towards her teammates. She was one of the ones closest to the deflection. PSG were largely outplayed against Bayern. The Germans will feel they should have been able to put it out of sight. So they clung on in there, got the rewards. That's qualification for the quarter-finals of Europe's Premier competition. This 
is a dangerous run here for Fleury and the cross is deep, it's over the heads of Kravovska. Worked well though. And that cross is clutched by Katarzyna Kiedzernik. Back at PSG after a spell in Germany with Wolfsburg. Excellent. Not just defending, but retention from the French defender. Brings us kindly here for the former two. to make something of it. Pioro says, not right now. Total trying to use her strength, which is so impressive. She deals with Harris. They're chasing back here. Grabowska's with her. The cutback for Vanguard. Really well saved by Ngazi. Magnificent forward play from Katoto. But the day couldn't find the corner. fourth in the last couple of seasons they will struggle to get there this time they're four points behind Stad Reim it's possible they're two points behind Montpellier who are in between them in fifth Paris FC probably out of sight in third with an eight point gap I don't think they're really looking over their shoulder Saint-Étienne are four points behind them They've been impressive for a couple of years now, FC Fleury, but they've lost more games than they've won this term. Five games gone their way, six against. Had to settle for a share on two occasions. Just about six months into the job now, since replacing his dad, Gerard. well so far, must be said, with any dropped points domestically from here on in, could and likely will be fatal for Paris Saint-Germain and their title hopes, looking to get in the way of Leon heading for a third on the bounce. She scored a last-minute winner for PSG against Fleury when these two met 
in Northern Paris earlier this season. 87th minutes in the Dutch International found the net. In fact, that's probably a goal which keeps PSG in this title race for the time being. The potential to be seven points behind Leon in the same amount of games played as unfathomable. As far as hopes of turning that around goal, Leon highly unlikely to lose two and never mind three games between now and the end of the season. There are ten games left. Dominic Lewowska has something to say for herself. to win the throw. Wild swipe at the ball. Takes a nick. looking to make life difficult for Fleury who escaped the initial one and then take advantage of De Almeida's rush of blood to the head and they've got the numbers here Fleury and it's parried and it's sent away excellent goalkeeping from Kedranek and a sigh of relief breathed by those in blue Kuasi strike powerful and just wouldn't land for Louis Grabowska manoeuvres a bit of room Kuasi holds her run and the Garrett shots. Possession will come back here to Fleury. Can't be fun for a referee when we get in the way of play, never mind a goal bound shot at goal. Start again from the opposite side, lifting it straight back to PSG. Wonderful run here from Kuasi. She has helped once more, and they found the bottom corner this time. FC Fleury and PSG. Lately, the first goal has been going the way of tonight's hosts, and they've done it again. A lightning quick transition. And PSG look like they've struggled to cope with that from the get-go. Wonderful sliding finish from Dominika Grabowska. And Fleury 
have now led in four of the last five meetings between these two. Huge goal for Fabrice Avriel and his team. The bad news for FC Fleury is that PSG have managed to recover from any deficit that's been imposed on them. Only been one single draw in matches between Fleury and the Frisians. It's over 14 of them. But they found a way to hurt PSG. They scored in their last five against them in a row after going 10 without scoring to begin with. And they're looking to respond immediately. Katoto's turn! Another excellent save from Chloe and Gazi. That's twice early on she's denied the PSG attack, but it's Katoto's first effort. Can't find the net. Great desire shown in the line by Limby Gilbert. Smart turn. Not a bad finish. Just excellent goalkeeping from Chloe and Gazi, former PSG youngster herself. De Almeida will get there across it comes in loads of time for Mefometu to thump clear the flags up anyway against De Almeida. But the margin for error throughout this game for PSG has narrowed. 1-0 would have been good enough. Three points, the absolute priority. They now need two. Got. Toto muscling our way through. Well covered by Mefometu. to have recovered from the knock which forced her down moments ago and another attack drifts into the void for PSG Heads at the back between Ngazi and the arena. Lindy Gilder. There's Claire Hunt. taking a familiar or expected pattern with the visitors controlling the ball when they met back in November when Jackie Grinning scored that last minute goal it was almost three quarters to one quarter possession for PSG but they still needed those final few seconds to make the stat that matters turn in their favour And 
and Fleury are doing it again. They didn't go 1-0 up on that occasion, but they're making life a misery for Jocelyn Frosier's side. Lots of changes tonight for his team. This is not quite a full second string 11. Delmeida, Hunt, Groenin, Katoto, Gioro, the captain, still starting. But there are changes throughout. Tabitha Churinga and Sandy Baltimore, not least. So Kina Parshawi, so dangerous from the left side too. The experience of Ramona Bachman. She started midweek, not tonight. And yes, well, they're in control of the ball. Any 40 forwards have been either stopped by Inicio Rena and our teammates, including Chloe and Gazi in the goal, or it's breaking down due to PSG's lack of composure. Total gathers. Euro thought about playing Vansgaard. Lindy Gilbert for the day now. Up against Charlotte Fernandez. And that's not what PSG needs. Plenty of time to go. and that gives Hunt a chance to try and find Vansgaard. The deflection takes this thing away. Check. Tripped. No complaints from her opposite number. Literally and positionally. Pacing PSG into the press. Goal scorer Grabowska. First time she scored against them. Looking for Katoto over the top. She'll have the pace. Does she have the power or the finish? And Gazi's there again. Another vital stop. One of the world's most lethal strikers bearing down on goal. And the Algerian anticipates every move. All the way through, Vansgaard's unable to get a toe to it. Oh, that was close as Kiesrenek played in Samura. Grabowska inches away from a second. Fazer. Outnumbered, out muscled, out fought. Albert. The Almeida. Tiniba 
for Samuda. Fleury believe that's crossed the line indeed. is going to get a talking to here. Victoria Bear's whistle was pretty instant. As Marine Dafur fell to the ground with a cry of anguish. PSG finished second last season, six points behind Leon. That defeated them in the second last game of the campaign. Really settled matters. And Senior Brun scored with a couple of minutes to go, with the gap at three points. Next weekend's game is pretty much just as decisive for PSG if they are beaten by the title favourites, there's little to no chance of them clawing back such a gap against such a prominent and powerful and talented team like Leon. Both are through to the What a final stage of the Champions League. The draw is on Tuesday. First legs are still a while away. And due for the quarterfinals, not until March 19th, 20th. And the second legs the week after. PSG, one of the seeded teams, is a good winner, along with Barcelona, Lyon and Chelsea. PSG can't draw Ajax because they were in the same group. And there's Benfica, Brand and Hakim. That's the potential opposition. Brand took points from Leon in that group stage. They shared Group B. And it's the 2-2 draw in Norway. It's the eight-time winners. Space here for Kamchik, but De Almeida shelters it well for Kedronek. Katoto gets the break of the ball, but she realizes she needs a hand. Fazer's there. to pick our spots here. Shouts to clear. And it's more commanding goalkeeping from Chloe Ngazi, who has really impressed in the first 35 minutes in the 
southern Parisian suburbs. Fleury haven't been keeping clean sheets either this season, just the one managed in 13 games so far. If we can add a little tally in that regard this evening against PSG, it will be quite the achievement. It's a team that have won 10 of their last 11 league games. But Fleury are going in search here of a second, which is halted pretty abruptly. Fans guards touch, excellent anticipation. Mifometo chasing, fans guard across. And between Fazer and Katoto, they can't send it goalwards. Albert can. Once again, clutched by Ngazi. This one, more routine. No need to throw our limbs to either side. Corbin Albert, just the one goal this season. It's not really her 40. No opportunity to get a shot away to attempting to pass up. Here's Kwasi. Hunt backtracking. Kwasi likes a goal against PSG. She's looking here to lay off her teammates. And between them, Gioro and Elimi Gilbert managed to snuff out the danger. It's an open game, end to end on occasion. Here's Vansgaard once more, where she was a moment ago. Great header and once again clutched by Chloe and Gazi. Is it just going to be one of those nights for the Fleury goalkeeper, but not just for her, for the PSG attack as well? But the balance of probability, Katoto will eventually stick one of these away. Fans guard, back on the left. Fleury claim it's gone out. Decision not forthcoming, here's Fazer. Deflection will do for Fleury. cross didn't come to her the Almeida had to act let's see Fleury had Magnificent run from November on last season. They lost one of 13 before losing to Montpellier in the third last game. And they're stifling one of the favourites here. Certainly one of the favourites to challenge, but they're playing catch up, not just in the short term, but in the long term as well. Kyoto's won them a corner. She to deliver. And Gazi misses this one. Gwenin picks up. Oh, but she recovers magnificently. And potentially a break on here for Fleury. And as it's headed towards Kumasi, it's intercepted by Claire Hunt. Vansgaard. 
the told in drifting inwards and her shots will not trouble Ngazi the space for herself Toto's looking wide and Gioro drops short and then be Gilbert magnificent pace Vansgaard collects Limby Gilbert and again Strong tackling from the Fleury rear gardens. There will be a little rest here for the Legaric. PSG did have to rely on a last minute equaliser from Grace Gioro against Le Havre earlier in the season. Looks like quite an innocuous injury for uh, Legarek and Fabrice Abriel may have to shuffle the pack. It was her goal against Le Havre earlier in the season, which rescued a point. One that could be important towards the end of the campaign, but those two dropped on the night mean their task in completing the bigger picture and their targets and aims is even harder. And for Kototo, able to muscle our way through. The layoff for Gwenin, drifting over, PSG are threatening, but it's falling to pieces at the vital moment. Spark as half time approaches. Legarek is okay to continue. There's Fernandez. It's the supporting run of the fair. Gilbert's pace posing a problem for Fleury but Vansgaard hadn't read her mind in a tough season for Amelie Vansgaard she doesn't tend to start many games for PSG she did score a double against Bordeaux in a thumping 8-1 victory in their last league outing it was a case of getting in on the act for a few players that night. It's scoring in meaningful 
ways and contributing to narrower victories which can really make you undroppable for a team. Excellent first half from Fleury. They took the chance that came their way, and with the help of their goalkeeper, Chloe Ngazi, they have restricted PSG to really impressive saves. But apart from that, the efforts on goal have been tame and straightforward or high and wide. Ten seconds or so to make something of it at the end of the first half, though, and down goes Guillaume. No penalty, Vansgaard swings a leg at it. And the way it goes, the complaints from PSG's players aren't all that resounding, and they'll go in at the break, 1-0 down. And the margin for error, which was small to begin with, is creaking even more. Are PSG watching their hopes? of challenging Leon dwindle away ahead of their clash next week. It's been an impressive performance from Fleury, who are good value for their leads. At half-time in South Paris, it's FC Fleury 1, PSG 0. As much as Dominika Grabowska, who has the opening goal. The only goal. A goal which could ruin PSG's remaining title hopes. Change in midfield for PSG as well with Sakina Kashawi coming on to replace Corbin Alberts. It's pretty much all on the line here for PSG. They need to Find a couple of goals and win this game. And that Fleury are starting the second half looking to make their life even more difficult. And Kouassi wins the corner. PSG eight points behind Leon. Yes, they have a game in hand. But this is Leon we're talking about. Later this weekend, and the PSG find themselves eight behind ahead of next Sunday's clash. It spells trouble. Comfortably clutched by Kizrek. Samuda's run. Well tackled, really well done. Grabowska tracking back, but PSG robbed them straight away. Vansgaards. Plays waved on. Here's Karshawi. Olimbi Gilbert resisted the temptation to shoot. 
another change being made by PSV. You can see Tabitha Tawinga collecting the ball now. She's come on. She's replaced Lorena Fazer. And Emily Vansgaard will head over to the right hand side. She has scored the first equaliser against Bayern Munich during the week. She's having a good season, 11 goals in total. I guess she could do with her making it 12 and or 13. time in the last five meetings PSG have found themselves behind against FC Fleury. They've yet to be beaten by them. It's Vansgaard. Tries to win the corner, which goes against her. looking for an impact from the bench Tab Thatcherwinga must be one of the most feared substitutes in the Arkema and power the dribbling ability that she possesses she beats her marker and finds a teammate almost two thirds of the time that she attempts a dribble Potential for her to get in behind here with Vansgaard on hand. Flag up. Kouassi's pace has been causing problems for De Almeida for most of the game and it looks like the French defender may be starting to drop a bit deeper not giving Kouassi as much of a head start she's now moved through the middle as Rosemont Kouassi and the half-time substitute Massimina Malida into midfield Shuffle of the pack. Fabrice Abriel. Samura for Karshawi. Shot deflected and another comfortable save. The first of the second half for Chloe and Gazi, who was outstanding in the first. Two excellent saves made, one from Kototo and from Vansgaard. Everything else PSG have thrown at her. Hasn't really troubled her. their way out of their own third on the deck you see Fleury they don't appear too flustered by any PSG press <laughs> on whom PSG had to rely the last time Used to clash in the league back in November. It was her 97th minute winner, which turned one point into three. The Euro away this time. Nifometu sliding in. Samura, Vansgaard's cross. 
and comfortably behind Chawinga opting to narrow rather than stay wide the fastest players in D1 Arkema Rosemond Kouassi she doesn't make the most of that pace in a goal scoring sense she often finds herself through in goal but she converts or this season in the way she has converted 1 in 13 shots just 2 to her name overall it's only to go to match last season's tally which ended up in double figures it's isolated against her one on one they're in for a tough time. I wonder if that's why Jocelyn Trocher has selected Lindy Gilbert at left back this evening. She certainly has exhibited some pace, the youngster, just 18 years old. Here's Karshawi looking for an option on the right. The cavalry hadn't arrived. Gioro for Samura now. PSG's wavelength not quite aligned with each other. Karshawi, nice one too. And then taken away from Gioro's feet by Ligarek. It's a wonderful piece of skill from Grabowska. We'll do our best here to stay on our feet. The help has arrived. Dafur to Kouassi. And she can't get round Claire Hunt. And Marine Dafur's good work, it was her. Not Grabowska with the lovely flick over on the wing. Driving Fleury forwards. And now PSG. Look to trouble their hosts. Katoto working the angle. And Ghazi there again. PSG have had now nine shots on target in this game. Another routine stop for the Algerian. Used to play for PSG back in her younger days. In the late teens. And at the moment she's on track for a famous clean sheet against the former champions, which would only be her second of the season. Girl is cross intercepted. Masha is onto that. Brought down. Dafur slightly late to the scene. Opportunity for Krashawi to use her left foot to drop this into a dangerous area. She relishes it from the wide area. This is narrow. Hunt's head are wide. Maybe put off by the arrival of Malida, but she had it all the way. Nodded down for Kamchik. He scored a couple of goals against 
PSG in recent meetings. So 4 4 last year from 4 2 down. Kamasi with one of the late goals for Fleury. Maria Fontaine with the other. She's on the bench tonight. have come back from behind on a few occasions against Fleury, not least they were 2-0 down almost two years ago in March 2022 ended up winning 4-2 on the night and Toto managed a double that day Karshawi the half-time sub, here she is, she managed one as well well scored by Didi Diato Diani now at Leon. For Chawinga, down she goes. Her cry was audible. The whistle was not, it didn't blow. Avriel, the goal scorer, will take her place in the dugout and on comes Sarah Cassie. The young Moroccan, just 20 years old, coming off the bench, a regular occurrence for her. This is the seventh time she's done it this season. Changes lined up for PSG as well. That was Ramona Bachman and Jade Lejuli. The usual starters are being introduced, although Marie Antoinette Katoto, on great form, is hauled off after an hour in southern Paris. goals in our last 12 and not been given or trusted to take the opportunity to bring PSG back into this game Brennan fans guard back in the central well, now it's the position in the front three she hadn't talked about this evening. Here's Bachman, who just off the bench, sliding one through. Chance now, and they have equalised. As the big names rolled on, PSG increased their chances. And it's Sakina Koshevi, one of those from the bench, who's hauled them level, and what an important goal it is. Substitutes involved all over. Karshevi started, Bachman continued, and finally Chloe Ngazi is beaten. The defenders took the bait. It's an excellent finish. And there's plenty of time here for PSG to complete yet another comeback against FC Fleury. Looking for a quick fire second. Bachman won't get there, but she'll accept the corner.
Tafur up. The Almeida scrapping away here. Malida manages to clear, but it's picked back up by Jackie Gruenin. Joe Winger hadn't caught up. Joe Winger now with the angle to cross. Excellently. Samura. The door will be battered for half an hour now. Liz Willey. Another PSG corner. Vance guard. No trouble for Ngazi this time. Another clean sheet has slipped through her fingers. One in nine in the league. The season before tonight, she hasn't played every game. Manon Heil has played on three occasions. No clean sheet for her either, it's just not really what FC Fleury do this season. And the last the changes were made by Jocelyn Trochier. The intensity wrapped up. They've been all over Fleury at the start of this second half. 20 minutes into it now, they must fancy their chances of going on and scoring another few. One's all they need though. Legarek is penalised for clumsy and painful foul on Amelie Vansgaard. Hunt came close with the last one dropped in from this area. She's off now. Vansgaard flicks. And is penalised. Certain. Coming up for Kasha. We're pulling the strings from midfield now. And another free kick in an identical position as before. No complaints from Rosemont Kouassi. Dismissed as Bachman clips this one in instead for Vansgaard. The best opportunity they've had all game, even including the goal. And Grace Gayoro heads wide. Well won by Vansgaard. And perhaps the defending enough to divert the attention of Grace Gayoro, who looks certain to nod home. Inish Arena feeling the effects of a collision which I think Grace Gayoro is likewise.
Because maybe that'll kill the momentum that PSG have been building over the last 20 minutes or so, and especially since their equaliser. If this has landed straight back on the Fleury defence. Another wave will end up lapping somewhere near the 18-yard box. But on this occasion, the Whites are first to the ball. Cassie is second to it. And to Almeida gives it to Samura. He has moved inside and lays really in the usual position of right back after coming off the bench. Gonna show it. Classy. Could do with a hand. Buys herself some time. It's a loose touch though, which allows Chawinga the opportunity to break clear and the yellow card will be brought out here for Malida, who is happy to take one for the team. There was little option. Chawinga's got the power and the pace to break away. Two ways about it. She's impacted the game wonderfully. And she has another substitute next to her right now. It's normally Karshawi. And it is again. And Gazi catches. Expected to take three points at home tomorrow against Rain. If it stays 1 1 here, the gap will momentarily close for PSG to seven. They only have the chance to extend that to ten before they play each other on Sunday in Lyon but they're working their way through here and Gioro is interrupted Samura Bachmann Drifting all over the periphery of the final third. Brennan. No way through. Everybody in white defending. So one for Jackie Brennan. He'll be encouraged to take a moment here before getting back to her feet, although she's. Pretty sure she's okay. And quick thumbs up from Victoria Bayer. Shall we? This placement in midfield, is allow, in midfield allows PSG still to have the pace of 
Willimby Gilbert at left back. PSG have won four points in injury time this season. Fabrice Sabriel will be desperate to prevent them from adding another two onto that tally. First one's the earned one against his side with Jackie Grunin's injury time winner. Struggled to hold up for much of the game. Playing centrally now. And give her more of an opportunity. Olympi Gilbert. Makes Chawinga's task a difficult one. Sending it up a blind alley. Kamchik tries to work it clear. But Grinning's on the periphery always. Olympi Gilbert to cross now. Kamchik has a second this time. Up to... Kuasi, who's all on her own, but has the ability to burn these two. Not on this occasion, as Samura stands in her way. Can't show me to drop one. of two dropped points here there's no doubt about this Leon already have one hand on the trophy they can almost reach out and grab it with both and this PSG managed to go and find a winner here especially if Leon then go and take care of business next Sunday For Gioro, he'll keep this in play. Chawinga arriving. Limbi Gilbert on the scene, but Flurry deal with the issue at hand. Kick off PSG actually closer to Paris FC in third than Leon in first. They did drop points in five games on their way to winning the title in 2021. And they dropped points in two games before today, if it stays this way. A draw against Le Havre and defeat to Lyon. They have played a game less than the title favourites. But they have a 100% record 
Leon, although they were caught cold last week by Slavia Prague in the final game of their Champions League group stage. Last minute equaliser gave Slavia a night to remember. Here's De Almeida. Defend at all costs here for Fleury. And as Liz really attempts a poor cross. Here goes Kwasi with her pace. Kamchik there. Justin Trosher. Arms outstretch. Eagerly. Encouraging a second goal for the side. Here's Chowinga. Kasha we back on the set piece. Bachman takes over. Coming for Marine Dafur as Bachman slid in. It's not the first time she's tried that little chop. Nefometu, <laughs> told to get a move on. Forward for Vansgaard drifting wide again. Josh Owen. Going in. Wide for Lee's Willie. Josh Owen always keen to get involved. She's had her pocket packed here. And Kuasi. Expecting the whistle. PSG's problems being painted here pretty clearly. They do have the best pass completion rate in the league. But not enough shots on goal. Taken almost a hundred fewer shots than Leon this season. And all they need here is to forage one more and take it. And Kioro's in behind. Is this the moment? Really well read. Backman sliding in. And a bit of respite for Fleury.
Bachman tumbling into Charlotte Fernandez as she tried to shield the ball. Confirmation of Metometo is booking for a touch of time wasting at the throw in. Game in midfield. Marine Duffer. So they did a stern test for Jackie Groenin. Grace Gioro at times as well, although the captain will get further forward. And the Dutch international. And she will another injury time winner from somewhere for TSG. Their title hopes may depend on it. She hopes to go wide to Le Julie, who's another substitute that's had a positive impact. Karshawi on the turn. Oh, they claim handball, big shouts from PSG. Back in it comes, Vansgaard now. Lovely turn, another save from Ngazi, and it can't be turned home. Here's Trowinga, Karshawi. Geneva Samura. This PSG probe must find something. Groen in. And that won't do it. It's hurried. They're restless now, PSG. Fleury. I've barely been in the visiting thirds for the entirety of this second half. No saves for Kiedrinek to sweat over. But it's a similar story for Chloe Ngazi, who's been comfortable besides from the moment she had to pick the ball out of her net. Bachman clips one in this time. And this bus is parked precisely where PSG don't want it. Kershawi. Brennan's made the run. Gioro's there. Olympi Gilbert. Delmeida. I'll show you the intended recipient. But once again, the heat map turns blue as Fleury attempt to cross halfway. And they can look forward to another three minutes of this plus any stoppages. Bachman. Liz Willey. Showing us header! Guillaume on hand as well, and that could be the chance that PSG have been begging for. Guillaume potentially offside. It's another wonderful touch from Chloe and Gazi. She has been outstanding for FC Fleury this evening. Any point or thrice gained here. And Chloe Ngazi 
will have played a massive part in it. Twelve shots on target now for PSG. Just the one goal, and it was a strike she stood little chance with. Kamsik trying to steal something at the other end. But the remainder of the action will surely take place in Fleury's third. They waited until the 97th minute in November. Nura taking a chance as Kuasi sniffs. Brennan, the scorer of that injury time winner in November. Kershawi, the scorer of the equaliser. Grinnan. Nice link up with Karshawi. There's really going in. Trying to build the perfect goal here, PSG. Time is not on their side. Gero for Kashawi, who's seen so much of the ball since coming on. Vansgaard's up there, and Gazi claims once again. Samura in, not fairly enough, says Victoria Bayer, as the first of six added minutes gets underway. See, Fleury have never beaten PSG. They've drawn one of 14 clashes. If they can make it to this evening, it'll be a real thorn on the side of PSG's title hopes. Rosemond Classy led the line well this evening. She's replaced by Aldrith Quintero for the final five. Grenin. Bachman. Grenin has Kershawi on hand. She has a Limby Gilbert. Sharinga, unable to control. That might explain the withdrawal of Marie Antoinette Kototo after an hour. Karshawi was happy to accept. And Evelina Kamczyk gifts PSG the opportunity to load the box here.
They've been so resolute from open play. Well, Eden needs to be careful here. She's already on a booking. And that was a blatant shove on De Almeida. They've been so solid from open play, FC Fleury. Can they quell PSG from the set play? They've done it in stoppage time against Fleury once already this season. And they can't find the target as it's blazed by the youngster, Elimbi Gilbert. With a potential moment to become a hero. Had a crowd of bodies, but it's so wild. Minutes are turning to seconds now. Vansgaard forward. We're into next goals, the winner territory. Fleury will hold on to a point as if their lives depend on it. Thirty more seconds of concentration and the hard yards. De Almeida. PSG's title hopes are fading over the horizon. Drennan, Bachman, excellent defending once again. There are just no gaps to play in. Drennan, PSG in a hurry now. Vansgaard's layoff, Guillermo couldn't find it. Vansgaard strikes, this is it. De Almeida, all the way through. Leisurely, fantastically seen out of play on the far side. And with that, the potential winner slips through PSG's grasp. Outstanding block from Dafur in the first instance, and Guillermo is a matter of inches. And Jocelyn Prosher will be seeing that in his sleep tonight, as will she. And Fleury have held PSG. It's a huge result in the bigger picture of the title race. If Leon keep their end of the bargain tomorrow, they will move 10 points clear of PSG ahead of their meeting on Sunday next week. Fleury so resolute, PSG out of ideas and perhaps out of the title race. The opening goal from Grabowska, cancelled out by Koshawi, but it finishes in Southern Paris. FC Fleury 1, PSG 1.